because the reason is, for this is that life creates and protects and sustains life. If you operate outside of life vernacular, then naturally common sense tells us that we are operating outside of life vernacular, then what vernacular are we operating in? The vernacular or the environment of death. Sure, there is a direct link with environment, food, and genetics. There has to be. This is because of this premise of genetics that you have created the African biomineral balance. And if so, could you explain what's the difference between the African biomineral balance diet and the other health diets on the health market? Well, in my previous statement, I said that the difference is that I, I mentioned one of the difference, like for instance, we talk about the rice and we talk about the soybean, which are acids, which are part of the microbiotic. We talk about the yin yang. The yin yang also shows us rice and the Ayurvedic and the allopathic. So we show that, that portion of it, but the other side of it is that the African biomineral balance was constructed using substance that came from the environment, the same environment that the black man was placed in by creator and creation, which is the tropics, the rainforest. Naturally, the substance would necessarily have to come from the same environment from whence he came so that it would have the same electrical value. So we constructed it by creating these compounds, such as the Maya, as known today. We have the Linfolin, and we have the Nervino, and many other products. But these was, they were constructed, or the compounds were made of herbs that came from the tropics that are very high in alkali, alkalinity. We find such herbs as the Cocurmeca. We find herbs, the Corazon de Jesus, which is very, very high in food. So right there, we are not following the same premise as other herbalists. Why? Because they use comfrey. They use peppermint. They use foxglove. And all of these are hybrid herbs which are incomplete molecular structure. An incomplete molecular structure is something that was created through hybriding. Hybriding means that you're going to create something that was not created by Mother Nature and that you want to fit that within this cosmic procession. No. If it was not created by Mother Nature, then this substance should not be included in this whole procession because it would cause an imbalance. And as we look closely at hybrid foods, we find that everything that is hybrid needs a binder, and the binder is always a chemical. So therefore, we find something that would never assimilate with you. You see, we're coming to the process of assimilation now. We left the African biomineral balance Encompassing all of the elements, naturally, we have to talk about everything because everything is interrelated and everything complements. So we find now that in arranging the diet, we have to consider everything that could be of usefulness and we have to know of everything that was not of usefulness, like the usage of comfrey. Comfrey contains starch. Starch is carbonic acid, but you find that many people who call themselves dietitian or herbalists, from a natural perspective, they use comfrey. They also use, well, like I said, foxglove, which is a very poisonous plant because it is a hybrid plant. According to nutrition, in reference to nutrition, we have to now use substance that everybody eats, but we have to select from that group of foods that we call foods the green leafy vegetation that would do the least amount of harm to the individual because we know that the compounds that was constructed using the earth from the tropics would deliver the compounds
kind of nutrients and energy the body really needs.